Okay, so let's talk about what's happening in crypto. Coinbase is hiring freeze. It certainly doesn't look good. What's happening in the industry right now? Yes, so the thing to remember at crypto is there are always ups and downs. It's a very volatile sector, especially before we get a better regulatory framework in place. But Sequoia has been investing for 50 years in a lot of market cycles mm -hmm. and is no stranger to the cycles in crypto. So the thing to remember is, you know, Founders in this space expect ups and downs, and every company is different. So I work very closely with FTX. Mm -hmm. Sequoia is a proud partner there, and they are not doing a hiring freeze. They are you know, well capitalized and ready to take advantage of this period. So there's a huge range in the way companies are reacting to the downturn in asset prices. And long term, we are still very optimistic that the best companies will actually extend their advantage and come out even stronger. So would you say that in the case of Coinbase, then there was a mistake in execution? They grew too fast? You know, I mean, this I think, is a big public company now. Yeah, I think less big than it was. <laughs> <laughs> yes, many public company CEOs, you know, Sequoia works with companies seed through public. So right. many public company CEOs have had to deal with their stock price changing and a market that valued growth pivoting to one that valued pro uh, profitability. So this is a change many people are going through. I think the important thing to remember though is that crypto is very diverse and so there are a lot of companies very well positioned who are not struggling uh, to make quite an impact in the future. So, and Obviously, Sequoia has a huge portfolio, and you've got workers moving between companies all the time. Do you see employees rethinking, oh, should I go to a crypto company, or maybe I should stay at Apple or Google for a little while longer? Yeah, we see actually quite a valuable market in the talent market for startups. Uh -huh. So we think one positive this period for the startups that play their cards right is that they'll actually be able to hire talent they probably wouldn't have been able to before. And so in many ways, this loosening in the talent market could be very beneficial for those leading companies to you know, stack their staff and their teams with top talent from these companies. So we're pretty optimistic, actually, that those companies will be able to succeed, even if there's some near-term shift happening. So if Sequoia could send that RIP Good Times memo now, like at this moment, what would the headline be? Uh, I think we gathered our founders earlier uh, this year to talk about how to deal with this downturn and how to plan for it. And the key message was adapting to endure. Mm -hmm. So what we've learned through so many cycles is that, you know, Focusing on R&D and extending your product advantage is one of the most important things you can do during this time. And so really capitalizing on this to put yourself ahead of your competitors while also potentially trimming in other areas depending on how you've been running your business are the most important thing. And so we think the best companies can come out stronger, but they have to survive long enough to have that chance. So where is Sequoia placing its crypto bets now? Where do you see the most opportunities for growth? Very similar areas. So our conviction is very unrattled <laughs> by this. Uh, you know, honestly, it's really the same. Uh, on a 10-year horizon, we're hoping that crypto can grow from the millions of users into the billions. And for that to happen, we're investing in a broad number of areas from infrastructure to financial applications to internet applications that are based on blockchains. And so we're very excited, especially about the infrastructure and developer tools that we're seeing that will help more companies be able to build more resilient, safe, and more secure applications. All right. So does it matter if Bitcoin gets back to 60 in your view, or you know, doesn't the price doesn't matter? Long term, we're not investing for the prices of the assets. We're investing behind the founders and the companies. So FTX, for instance, that we work with is a great example. They're building an exchange that we think could be a, a really uh, amazing product for crypto derivatives markets. And so whether the price goes up or down, people are still trading. And that's a founder, you know, it's a perfect example of what we look mm -hmm. for with an incredible founder, a great market opportunity. And so the price doesn't matter as much. It's really the long-term yeah. business that we're excited about. Okay.